<laughs> and and uh, now I will present very, very shortly our guest. Uh, I think uh, this is uh, very little uh, but uh, concentrated exhibition about uh, the Villa uh, Hugo of uh, Bruno Taut. Uh, it's for me a, very, a, a big pleasure to present it uh, in, uh, this, uh, with this uh, exhibition. Uh, the first reason is uh, that it is the first time that uh, this uh, uh, um, uh, building uh, was surveyed by uh, Marco Capitano. He made a, a complete survey of the uh, villa and that is the first time that uh, this work is presented now. And uh, this gives the possibility now to uh, study the, under a new point of view this uh, um, uh, very interesting uh, building. Uh, there are many reasons but, uh, to be for, for the uh, presentation of this uh, work. Uh, and the second is uh, uh, the possibility to have here now with us uh, um, a really special guest. Uh, I named before Dave Clough, the photographer, that made a, a sort of a photographic survey of the, of the um, building. And uh, Darko Radovic is uh, uh, the director or responsible of a design laboratory, Coplas uh, Lab, of the Keio University. This is a laboratory concerned with uh, human studies of different scales and uh, interdisciplinary uh, studies. And um, uh, Marco Spider is uh, the best uh, uh, the one. Is not, not one, is the best, <laughs> the, the highest, <laughs> the deepest uh, uh, expert about uh, um, uh, Brontaut. He began uh, to study Brontaut 30 years ago or 40 years ago. He is architect, he studied in Stuttgart. Uh, Stuttgart is a very uh, important uh, school for architecture. Uh, at, at that time, I, I mean, uh, uh, was teaching uh, Jürgen Jürgen, yeah. oh, yes, yes, yes. And then he was, uh, uh, Matthias Speidel uh, learned um, in the Hochschule für Gestaltung in Ulm, mm -hmm. uh, really a second place, uh, very um, excellent for the architectural studies. And then uh, very soon, 66, uh, he, go, uh, he moved to, to Japan. And uh, Mother Spahn made his uh, PhD in uh, Japan. He uh, know uh, very, uh, very, very deeply the uh, Japanese culture. And uh, what uh, for me uh, very interesting is that the discovery of Bruno Taut uh, follow through Japan. <laughs> you know? And uh, one of the most uh, important exhibitions made by Manfred Speidel was uh, the Nature and, uh, Nature and Fantasy, made in uh, 94 in uh, Tokyo, uh, and then uh, show, uh, the, 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 the exhibition was shown uh, in Magdeburg. In Magdeburg, in Magdeburg. In Magdeburg. Uh, uh, yes, yes, uh, in Germany. <coughs> um, the, um, about the uh, excellence of this building, we'll speak, we'll speak uh, Marco Capitano and, 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 and uh, um, Marco Speidel. Uh, but I think there is a third reason that um, make this uh, occasion interesting for us. Uh, that is the uh, interest today of uh, the interest that we, we, we um, move uh, to uh, the architecture of no doubt today. And uh, this is a reason uh, for the, I, I think that there are, there are run, uh, running before the, the video made by Capitano and Radko uh, Radovic and the third uh, person, Sano. Sano. Uh, this is an interview with uh, Ken Gokuma. And uh, this video can uh, uh, give us a, 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 a deep insight about uh, the actuality of uh, of uh, So I uh, I can stop here and uh, can uh, give. Uh, so I don't know with uh, 
um, the order, but I think we can start with uh, the curator, uh, Marco Capitano, and uh, uh, Dave, after Dave, and then uh, uh, Darko Radovic and Manfred Schweigler. I learned that uh, the most important person had to be the last person. <laughs> I, I, I don't know. In <laughs> Japanese, say Omake. <laughs> <laughs> it's a kind, just a kind of present afterwards. <laughs>